And we're going to take a walk through and kind of show you how a window is built here at Vector Windows. So this is where we take large master sheets of glass. So they're six foot by seven foot pieces of glass. And we run them through an optimization program to then cut the smaller pieces out to turn them into windows and doors. And we build a very energy efficiency window, which means we have to take two pieces of glass and put them together and put an inert gas called argon in between to really add to that energy efficiency as we produce that and allow people to save on their energy bills when they buy that product. The optimization that happens on this screen, this operator controls, basically the large sheet comes down, this machine will automatically cut it, and then it tells them which slot that they put it into to make sure that we're getting the best yield out of that raw material as well. And then all of our scrap raw material gets recycled. Well, this is the process where we actually put the two pieces of glass together. And it's a highly automated system where we just have one operator that loads the glass on one end, and then the machine actually washes the two pieces of glass so that it makes sure it's clean before we put them together. But in this process, this robot is actually putting on a spacer that keeps the two pieces apart, and it has a desiccant inside to make sure it removes any moisture before it's sealed up for good. So the process is the two pieces of glass come in, they're matched up together, the robot will put the spacer on it, and then they'll move to the next station where they actually get topped together to create one piece of insulated glass. And then they'll actually get sealed off on the back end by another robot that heats up those pieces and then presses it for good. And then we have one operator on the other side that then takes those windows off. This operation used to be done with 12 people. Um, and we just bought this product three years ago. So we invested in this to again, allow those, our operators to move into some different roles as we continue to grow. Um, so no operator ever loses a job here when we add automation. It just allows us to move into different roles and take on new roles and responsibilities. We buy in vinyl in 16 foot extrusions, and then we end up actually processing them through this operation here, where people actually cut them into the length that's required to be able to build the product, as well as be able to fabricate the holes for hardware locations, as well as be able to put the window together, and where the screws and stuff would go to create a final window. They call this a machining center, so we have an operator that's able to run this as well. But again, most of the dust and stuff is kept inside of the machine, so again, we don't have a, a dirty, dingy environment like a lot of people think of with manufacturing. Once we have the parts and pieces that are cut and processed and ready to go, and we have glass coming from the other side of the building, now we start to actually assemble the window itself. And so the next operation that happens is, is what we call welding, and it's different than what some people think of as welding, but it's basically heating up the vinyl in the corners to a 500 degrees and then molten melt, welding them together to make a fusion bond in the corner that's actually stronger than the vinyl itself. And so you'll watch this machine which is basically calibrated and, and is, it's downloaded from our system. So it automatically goes to the size that it's gonna be run at. And you can see it comes down to an ergonomic load so you can load both pieces, it goes back up to a height now he'll put the two side pieces in, and when he presses the go button, you'll see 500 degree heat plates come in, it'll press up against them, take them back out again, and then it will actually form the two pieces together to make sure that we have a consistent product in both height, width, and squareness before it moves on to the next operation. So now once those two parts have been fused together, actually, there's actually flashing on each of the corners that you can see what was excess length that gets pushed together. So that now has to be cleaned off in order to be ready for a consumer to actually buy the product. So the next stage in the operation is what we call a CNC corner cleaner that's gonna use different drill bits and saw blades and different tools inside of here that will actually go in and clean all of those pieces off to make it a sellable product at the end. This is a sliding window. So it actually has a, a meat rail that goes in the middle. So the frame has been welded, cleaned, now we screw a meat rail into it, and then we'll actually put down what we call a glazing tape, which is what holds the glass then into the frame. So the frame will move down one side of the assembly line that will have the glass inside, and then we have a sash profile that's right behind me here, another welder and cleaner, and then the sash runs down this side until they meet up at the end again, one sash for one frame, and will be put together into a finished product as you'll see down the assembly line.
they have the glazing tape in. They'll actually pull the little backing tape off and then we'll get that piece of glass that was lined up from our glass assembly and it's matched up with the next unit going down the line. And as you can see, we run different products down the line, one right after each other to improve the efficiency, to improve ergonomics, so we don't run all one large product at a time and then all the small product. We mix them up so again it helps with ergonomics throughout the day, allows our operators to be able to cross train and to be able to switch up jobs as well. Safety is a very huge factor for us because we are a fairly manual operation, so we look for those opportunities to try and make sure we have less wear and tear on the body. Once the windows are all completed, then we match them up back in our shipping department where they get loaded onto a truck and they go to certain routes. We have over 400 customers that we sell to across an eight state region. And so we need to route those trucks to make sure that we're delivering efficiently. And so once a week, every one of those customers gets a truck. So we line them up based on which truck it's gonna be going on. And then they get loaded onto our own individual company owned trailers. And then we pull those out and we have eight dock doors that are continually running and making sure that we've got trucks going out two to three trailers every single day. So 15 to 20 trucks basically a week that we're shipping out across that eight state region. And these windows then get delivered to our lumber yards, who is our main customer. And then they take them out to the job site for the consumer, either to an apartment building, hotel, motel, or it could be a, a personal residential home as well. Honestly, we've got positions across the company depending on people's skill sets. And ultimately for us, we can take any individual into our company and train them up into the skill sets that they need. So we're very open for training. Um, you don't need manufacturing experience. If you have good morals and ethics and you're willing to work hard, you can tell in our environment it's very well lit. We've got a very ergonomically friendly operation. Um, and it, it's also, again, air conditioned in the summer and it's heated in the winter. So great opportunity to come in and create a career here and you have lots of opportunities to grow.